on this episode of the NES Pursuit. Why do you have to pick like the hottest day of the month to come here? It's an exciting moment. Conqueror of the Hardcore. Junction. Alien. Can't wait to see Nicole's face when I bring it home. Consider us freaking happy. Yes! Ridiculous prices on them. Like, dude, it's 500 megabytes. Gigabytes? Megabytes? Whatever. At that point, Ricky realizes, oh crap, this guy's gonna be cheap. It is a extremely hot weekend here in sunny Southern California. Ricky and I have been MIA from game hunting for like two months now and you guys, it is because game hunting is getting extremely hard. Ricky and I have been let down so many times, but this time we say, hey, let's get back out there with an open heart, open mind, and go out and game hunt. And we, we feel it. I can feel it. My Amiibos, my Nintendo stuff. I purposely just put Nintendo stuff in a Nintendo cabinet. You can't put other stuff in there. So while we're at Ricky's house, I'm looking around at all his gaming stuff and I'm thinking with my camera in my hand, I might as well show some of Ricky's gaming stuff. You guys haven't seen his room for a really long time. My Street Fighter stuff, you know, it's all here. Also, remember that really cool World of Nintendo cabinet Ricky got like an episode ago? He has filled it up with some awesome Nintendo stuff, some of his collector yeah. stuff. I still gotta get my sign though. I wanted to say that Nintendo Power one just says supplies, which is, True, look at all the supplies. And it is looking super, super amazing. And I got to admit, this shelving display looks beautiful. I am extremely jealous. Not a little bit jealous. Extremely jealous. Frick. You must have a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, it's not about money. It's about looking for the deals and getting them. And that's why it's so hard now, because everyone's trying to do the same thing. Seriously. Stop it, guys. Ricky. It's like... Game hunting, like, literally, let's be real, kind of sucks now in our area. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. If there's one thing new gen that Ricky's been eyeing for a while and been talking about to me for a while and been wanting and showing pictures of. No joke, it's probably, PS4 is probably one of my favorite consoles. I already have one, look. Custom wall mount. Cause I ain't paying no $40 for one of the ones at Amazon. Is the Batman PS4. Ricky's been looking, like I said, he finally found a really good deal on Craigslist. And he picked it up. So I got this right here. The Batman Edition PS4. I've actually been looking for one for a while. This version was released in 2015. The PlayStation 4 Limited Edition Batman Arkham Knight 500 gigabyte bundle comes with all this. But everyone has these ridiculous prices on them. I'm like, dude, it's 500 megabytes. Gigabytes, megabytes, whatever. Not only the console, it also came with a bunch of games. It came with different color control variants. I'm not gonna pay that much money for it. So I got it, but the coolest part is it came with all this stuff. No, this isn't co Ghost, it's just you didn't have a case for it, so Black Ops 3. I'll take the metal case though. Heck yeah. And for Ricky, if you guys have seen some of his Instagram posts or Facebook posts or even just are friends with him, you'll know Ricky loves variations in color controllers. He is a controller collector. Hey, look at this. You guys think I have an obsession with controllers? Ricky is holding down the fort when it comes to that. I just spit on the camera. Nice. You must be rich. No, like I said, you gotta hunt. See, everyone's hunting retro right now, so I'm going for this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> just new Suckers. Stuff. It's just all at Target, our next episode. <laughs> yeah. By the way, where is Ricky? Ricky's in Arizona right now, and he couldn't film, and it's been far too long. And I said, I'm just gonna film it by myself. All right, Ricky? Bleh. 
Hey, yeah. so you guys, I've noticed, are getting a lot of video game stuff. Uh, does this mean you guys are rich? Yeah. Stop down, streaming now, money in the bank. But now we're broke. <laughs> but enough of that. Let's go to the swap meet. Those guys down there, as we're pulling up, we see already just talking, laughing with each other, just like a box full of NES games and different retro things on their things and posters. It's just hard. Everybody's doing it. And I'm not saying that you're wrong for doing it. We're, we're, we do it too. But it's just like everybody does it. So it's hard. Are we going to find anything? Oh my gosh, my lens. Yes. Dude, you can have a jab. You guys remember this show? Uh, how does it go? Uh, once a mountaineer. No way. How does it go? Once was a story about a man named Jed. Went up through the ground, come a bubbling crude. Went up to the down, then rolling crude. Dude, happy days. Dude, if they had the Fonz, I'd totally to get it. Bulbasaur. Oh, Venusaur, sorry. Pokemon stuff always good. Fast forward to this time already. At this point, we've been looking around for like 45 minutes and we keep finding stuff that we don't want. Nothing. Ah. Again. And again. <gasps> something I need. I like want to want to buy something. Hi. I'm weird. And again. This has been picked through at least. 20 times. This is why we haven't been to the swap meets in a while. It's like we remembered the last few months. Barren and full of stuff we don't want. Why do we have to pick like the hottest day of the month to come here? It really is. Look right behind you. There you go. Dave Hester. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen that guy in a long time. Wait, what is this? Ricky finds a Wii U Pro controller that he has been looking for. Actually, I could, I would, I could use that. It worked. It works. How much are you guys selling the controller for? Yes! Finally, it's sitting there all by itself. Ricky's thinking to himself, finally, I can get this thing. I've been wanting this since all alone. Ricky goes, how much? How quanto? It's an exciting moment. It's con todo. No lo venden más solo? Until the guy walks over and he brings a Wii U over with it and goes, it's a bundle only. Okay. The it's a, it's a bundle. But it's a bundle only. Oh. I can already see it. Oh. Just wanted to get a nice shot of you, dude. No, you didn't. There's a... <laughs> <laughs> Next, we find this Chinese bootleg multi-cart, which is Pretty cool for what it is. Dude, it's a real legit game. It's advanced color, 82 and 1. Look at it, look at all these games though. Super Robot War, World of Dr. Mario, Ghost Cast. Is that right? Castlean? Chase Centipede, Girl Dr. Mar Girl Dr. Mario? I think it was five dollars. Um, we didn't buy it. Ricky kind of convinced me not to buy it. You need that, Ricky. I don't. I do. Look how cool it is. It's not cool at all. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm kind of bummed we didn't get it. It's one of those items where I'm like, it was five bucks. It gives us a little chuckle. It makes us laugh. When's the last time you saw something that cool? It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh wait, look. There's a Nintendo controller. This is just as cool. And now we don't have it. And it was the only thing of the day that even made me somewhat happy. Get out of here, fly. How cool is this one? It's long. Plushy dolls are something that are always kind of sketchy to buy when at like a flea market or a swap meet or a Goodwill or a Savers or a thrift store or a secondhand store of any type. Because they're material, you never know what's gonna be in them. It's like buying a hat. Wait, what year do you think it's from? 2003. Close. It's 2001. Oh. Wow, when you think about it, that is a long time. That's ago. a long time ago. That's 14 years ago. You know, if there's gonna be lice in there or some sort of weird tick or bug that could take over the world. How much? Uh, I'm asking three dollars for you. 
Three bucks for old school. Let's see what else they got. The lady said two bucks, so we picked it up. Mario. Only problem is you got to carry that thing around. And it's like this big. I'm out of big. This big. It's about that big. You know what? I haven't gotten anything today, so I might as well pick this up. Can't wait to see Nicole's face when I bring it home. So far, we just got Luigi. Otherwise, the day sucks. Next scene. Pew, pew, pew. You don't ever touch my mother. It's like a set of steam, though. Got a couple joysticks here. I didn't have this one before uh, my Saturn. Dude, it's hot, and this thing's making it even hotter. You know how much heat this thing generates? All right, so Ricky really likes Amiibos. It's something that he collects a lot, and it's something that I see him more excited about than a lot of things, and something that he actually displays pretty well at his house. So I walk by th this little guy's place, his little flea market booth, and I see this cool-looking Amiibo box on the floor just sitting there, and I'm thinking, Ricky, dude, I... I I'm not gonna buy this. I'm gonna hook you up. Check out what I found. I'm gonna give you first dibs on this thing. Look how awesome this Amiibo case holder is. Good condition, big yellow question block. Amigo holder. Amigo, that is racist. How much was that one piece? I think it's cool. What? What? What were you and Ricky looks at it and he goes, <gasps> who cares? Kinda cool, actually. I think you should get it. I hate Amiibos. Yeah, but you can like blow it up. You know what you wanted to do? He didn't even give me like a thanks for holding it. Good job, Aaron. Want to see something even cooler? Bam! I'm going to play some classic football. It was just like, that thing's stupid. Why are you showing me this? Goodbye, Amiibo. But now we're broke. Jean-Claude Van Damme is Guile. How could you go wrong? What's your favorite quote of this movie? Quick, change the channel. <laughs> Zangief, yes. Uh, Quick, change the channel. Quick. Change the channel. So it's the end of the day. We're about an aisle and a half out from the end of the swap meet. There's nothing ever on the end but the same old junk that we see every week. Uh, we're walking out. One of those things where you just like feel like you need to look at something happened. Look at it. This is great. You know what I like about finding this and it makes me laugh? Is this is an NES case but with some old dirty Q-tips. But that just shows someone was here using these a while back. Scrubbing these things out. And I see this box. Like we see a thousand boxes at this guy's place who literally has nothing. Hey Ricky, we should check this out anyway. Let's go open this box. I walk over slowly, crack open the box. Check it out, Rick. We got a zapper in here. We got some Atari flashbacks, which look broken, but hey, I mean, surprisingly enough, it's Sega Saturn and uh, some NES games. The best part about this was, you can tell nobody has cracked open this box. Nobody has rummaged through any of this. We got Milan's Secret Castle. Underrated game in my opinion. People hate on it, especially because of PBGN. As I start rummaging through the box a little more, I see a Nintendo 64, I see a Sega Saturn, I see all this stuff. Sky Kid, hey Sky Kid's good. First thing I pick up is a game named Sky Kid because I personally love Sky Kid. If my memory serves me correct, I think you play his characters named Red Baron and Blue Max. What's this? We got some, oh, some Sport Virtua Cop on the Saturn. Okay. So sadly, after looking through this box, it's mostly stuff I already have. I also picked up Milan's Secret Castle. Top Gun. And that's about it. Double Dribble, Caesar's Palace, and Mario. We got an NES in here too, but... When I walk over to the guy, he says, ah, it's a really slow day. It's like 95, 98 degrees. Nobody's coming through. How much are the games? Three bucks each. He basically settles on the first price I ask, which I think is five bucks for both games. Would you do the two for five? Cool. At that point, Ricky realizes, oh crap, this guy's gonna be cheap. I think I'm just gonna do these two for five. This guy kid's great, too. Nice. So, yeah, I'll do two for five. I'm like happy with this. This, just that made my day. Ricky was already right behind me digging through the games because he's like, hey, you lost your spot. Now it's my turn. Uh, this guy's cheap and he's gonna basically say yes to any price we ask. Let's see if I can bundle it up. 15. 
In the end, Ricky walks away with two controllers, a video game, and a NES Complete, which by the way, ended up working for 15 bucks. That is nearly ridiculous. Maybe I'll customize this one. Oh, that's a good idea. Do you like a painting job or something? Especially with the popularity of retro collecting and NES alone these days, people are selling for way too much, which hurts me to even say like 80 bucks. Sometimes I see them at retail stores for like 100 bucks. So 15 bucks for that that works, complete with all the controllers, a game and the AV plugs and all that jazz, the power outlet. What a steal. You need this? No. I have too many as it is. Oh, it's hot. Literally like the last booth away from the end, we stopped this place that has toys. A lot of horror characters, but the most horrifying of all is Twilight. And oh boy, they have some horror toys, which you guys know I love. You know, I have this, but I don't have the special edition totem glow. How much are these? Ten. Ten? What about for the ones, oh this is cool look from Alice. How about these? Eight bucks. This is cool from uh, Ellis. The one that stuck out to me the most that I had to get, which Rick, Ricky actually helped me with, was Ash from Evil Dead. This is rad, especially with him in Bro Force. being a playable character in Bro Force. The reason I love him even more lately, not only because of his horror movies, but I had something in my mouth. But because he is a character in Bro Force, and I love Bro Force. I play Bro Force so much. And surprisingly, dun -da -da, Ash is actually my favorite character in Bro Force. I love his chainsaw, which he was actually missing in the action figure. But the chainsaw would make it all better. And I love his shotgun in the game. He's a great character in that game, honestly. His spread shot shotgun boomstick is super big spread. And it's very powerful and it's very strong. Oh yeah, this would go good in the office right here. Let me see if he stands. Here's the test. Wait. The table's uneven. I was debating getting it. I almost didn't get the, the toy. I think it was like $5. Ricky just came to the rescue. Ricky found the chainsaw. But Ricky ended up randomly rummaging through some little plastic bag and found the, the chainsaw to go with him. So I had to pick it up. And I'm so glad I did. So now I definitely, definitely need it. I was contemplating when the camera went off, but with the chainsaw. So with finding that untapped box of Nintendo stuff and also finding some toys at the end, that was enough for us to walk away happy and call that a day of game hunting. We're here hanging out in an area in Huntington Beach, ready to go to lunch. And we walk out of GameStop, we go to GameStop, didn't buy anything, didn't ask for anything, we didn't go dumpster diving, anything like that. Oh my gosh, how we were saying that good deals are still out there, sometimes they happen in the weirdest ways. Ricky sees this guy walking up with a box. We see a couple walking into GameStop as we're walking out, and we see them holding a box with some games, and we're like, okay, it's probably some junky games, whatever. You could tell there's a one Genesis game, like kind of like everything else was hidden, but you know it was retro. And the box looked like it was full of video games that they wanted to sell, so we stopped them and said, hey, hey, come over here. Come meet us at our car. But, come here. So this happened. Oh, shocker to us. Genesis, good, complete Genesis games. Zombies Ate My Neighbor, Fantasy Star, Shining Force, uh, Contra Hardcore. Wrong. All of this, we got all of this for $40. Go ahead, Ricky, show them some. You got Toe Jam and Earl. Tons of games, and even some random PlayStation 1 games that we didn't care about. But all these Genesis games, I mean, Toe Jam and Earl complete in boxes worth like 40 bucks these days, maybe even a little more, and that game was in there. Contra <laughs> Hardcore. Junction. Alien. We got the whole lot for 40 bucks. Money, money, money. Consider us freaking happy. Yes! Uh, some of them. Super Smash TV, Fantasy Star 2, Shining Force, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. It happened. It can still happen to you. Uh, it also came with a the Genesis console. as well, the console, with the controllers and everything. But everything's like clean except for that game. This game. But the thing is, is like, just like this alone is worth the $40 basically we paid. So we're stoked uh, beyond measure and we're hoping it happens to you guys again because we know it's happened before and it can happen again. Honestly, it's one of the coolest things that ever happened. So we'll see you guys on another episode of the NES Pursuit. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate it and we love you guys. Have a good one. We win.
We win again! Alright, we're out here.